All right. You're welcome back to this channel, Satellite Bones. All right, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to um, track your DSTV without the use of a satellite finder or a tracker. All right, how to track your DSTV without the use of a tracker or a satellite finder meter. All right. Um, usually, this um, uh, method is usually, usually it's a little bit um, stressful because you have to bring out um, the TV, um, the decoder, and you have to um, you have to um, uh, try to get a power a source outside. So you see, I would advise you to do this for a customer who is not um, professional, all right. But at least just having the idea is something. All right, so please, if it's your first time watching our videos, I want you to subscribe to this channel. Click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification icon, like this video, and do please share this video. All right, so so you see, we had to bring out the decoder, and also we got um, a power supply. All right, that's the decoder. And this is the TV. This is the TV. All right. So, um, what you have to do now, um, input your frequency. Just press menu. Press menu. Um, go to installations. That's what is decoder. If it's a strong decoder, just press menu. Go to um, yes installations. Then you go to manuals manual scan. Alright. So it's on power supply. It's on um sorry installations now on this decoder. So just now go to transponder list, then add um your transponder. Your sim frequency symbol rate and polarization. Now, for this, you have to press red to add. All right. Um, okay. There are different um, frequencies, but I think I'll just go with this. Then press OK. So you see, it's there already. So now let's go to go back and track the signal. So all right, it's very simple. For many position that you are, turn it. Remember, NLB position should be around three, four o'clock. All right, or nine, eight at the case All right, three o'clock or nine o'clock or four o'clock, as the case may be. So, my landing is on 3 o'clock. Um, I'm turning left now. Then I'm turning right. I'm turning left. I'm turning right. Didn't catch. I have to increase it a little from the elevation and I'll tighten it. Alright, now you turn left. It's not there. Turn right. Turn left. I'm only trying to be slow because I'm switching. So it didn't come. I'll have to loosen a little, then take it off. And then I'll tighten the elevation. Then I'll turn left, turn right. Usually I'll do it two times. Turn left, turn right. It doesn't come. I'm losing the elevation. Then increase it a little. 
then tighten it. Usually I do increase it by just a scale. A scale. Turn left. Turn right. Turn left. Turn right. It doesn't come. Um, increase it a little. Easy, increase it a little. Then tighten it. Then you're turning right. Then you're turning right. <coughs> Just keep increasing, uh, then you're turning here, turning around, turning around, turning around, until you see that come. I think it, okay. I think the signal is there. It's there. So when you are done, when you've gotten the signal, just try and play with it. Um, then let me position. You see, it increase. You see, normally it was 71. Now see, now it's about 70, 77, 78. Okay. I think it's around it's something so I have to tighten my dish. Yeah, we've gotten the signal. So let me just show you the signal. Uh, strength and quality. So you see, the signal strength is 81%, 81, 82. The quality also is 84%. This is the highest I can get on this decoder. All right, so um, that's it. The next thing to do is for you to connect to your DSTV. Just take the signal, um, the signal cable, and connect it to your to the LMB in on the back of your DSTV decoder. I hope this video was useful, was helpful. Please, if it was helpful, helpful, I want you to um, um, smash the sub subscribe button. All right, turn on the notification icon so that anytime we drop new videos. You'll be getting notifications of our new new videos. Please like this video and do share it on your best platform. Alright, see you in our next video. Thanks for watching. Satellite Boss.